was saying in one of the other videos, um, uh, if you've been keeping up with the Ghostbuster stuff, uh, uh. I did say I was going to make a standalone video that has to do with uh, some mods that I was waiting to come in. There are some mods um, from Mike Lane. I will put a description at the end of the video, on, uh, or down either at the bottom of this video or at the end of the description or both. To uh, if you're interested in any of the mods I'm about to show you, uh, you will be able to go to the website and order some of your own if you're on the Ghostbuster model, right? All right, so how are we gonna go about this? <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna start with this. So with the uh, the first little mod that I'm gonna show you, and then I'm gonna show you the website what it looks like on the website so you can see the instructions are on the website too it tells you how to install them and everything like that so all right hang tight okay. now, first mod i'm going to show you is uh gurney floor rails and these are made out of metal and i would take them out of the package but i'm not going to do that right now now these are kind of long as you can see there's pretty long but, um, yeah, I'm not going to take them out of the package or anything like that. I'm just going to show you what I'm seeing. In them. And the reason why I'm not going to open them is because I'm not ready to put them in the model yet. I haven't got to that stage yet. So that's why. Okay, now I'm going to show you what it looks like on a... This, what, this part of it looks like. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like on a website. Okay, here's what the website looks like. Now it's... Um, if you're in the UK or whatever, you know, where this came from, it'll be 55, I think, British pounds, I think is what that is. But you scroll down, and it shows you where they go in the car. Self-adhesive kind of thing, they go right on in. Shows you a before and after kind of thing. Pretty much the instructions are there on the on the website, so it's not too difficult <laughs> to install. It's got some you know some more instructions on the page if you want to read about that when you look at it. And this is the real car. This is the image of the real car, and here's the model, that kind of thing. So it, everything you want to do, see anything about the product, is right here on the website. Alright. Okay, the next one is not really a mod. Basically what it is is like an add-on. You can add on to your to the car or you can set it beside it as a display item, right? I thought it would be kind of cute to get it and it was real cheap. It doesn't cost very much at all. <laughs> you know, it's the big Twinkie or should I say little Twinkie. And this is what that looks like. They're not real, but they are it's just kind of a novelty thing that you can add to your model that kind of thing and show you what the website shows okay you got the little twinkie you can do the one eighth size or one six size they got some detail to them they do look real when you kind of zoom in on them they do look real but we know they're not so i'm not sure where these figures come from Unless, it, unless it's somebody modding something, or if it just has to do with maybe something the Eagle Moss might give you. I don't know. Let's see, it's got a bunch of information on it. I mean, it ain't much about the Twinkie, but, well, I guess they got a few things there. But ain't much you can say about that one, right? <laughs> this next one, I don't know if it can be considered as a mod, but... Uh, you know, it's it can be either considered as a mod or it can be an add-on or something like that. It can also be used in other models too, so it's probably a good good thing to have, you know, for wiring. You know, mini cable ties. Now, I don't know if you want to consider this a mod or anything, but this is how they look. I mean, they're really, really tiny. They're also hard to get from uh, because these seems like as soon as they become available to purchase on the website they disappear within 24 hours they sell out real fast but 
Anyway, I got you can get I got two of these because they kept disappearing so the fast. You know, I got two of these. And then I also got some of the other color. So I got four of these, you know, two of each kind of thing. But again, every time they get them on the website, they disappear really fast. Okay, here's the website for the mini ties. You got options, you know, black or white. You scroll down, and so you have to kind of use tweezers when you use them. But this looks like the DeLorean model so if you have that one it'll actually help you make your wiring look more tidy so mainly it looks like it's used on the DeLorean but you can also use it on the back on the uh, Ghostbuster car too it just doesn't show pictures of it but you can use it in some parts of the some other models too not just the Ecto one. I mean, not just the uh, Back to the Future, but I thought it'd be kind of neat. But even if I don't use them on the Ecto one, I can, you know, do. I do plan on buying this model, you know, the Ecto one model kit after I'm done with Ecto. I mean, let me rephrase that. I'm getting tongue tied. I do plan on buying the Back to the Future model when I'm done with the Ecto one. Now, whenever I get done with the Ecto one, I might, you know, also about purchasing the back to the future but what I want to do is I want to buy all the mods and stuff that would go for it before I actually build the thing if that makes any sense so there's that okay, the next mod is the rear seat back cover with metal trim it's just one seat cover I think so there's what it looks like it looks really good. I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna take it out of the package until I'm ready to put it on the car. So when I get ready to, you will see these mods again in the future if you keep an eye on the Ecto One videos. If you're interested in that kind of, in those kind of videos, just keep an eye out for any Ecto One videos whenever I get more shipments from Ecto One or from Eagle Moss. Then um, when it comes time for a mod, you'll actually see me put the mods to use or put them on the car. When the time comes, so keep an eye out for that in the future. So whenever I start getting more parts from Ecto One, and you'll start seeing me put these mods on. So when it comes to that stage, okay. The website for this for the seat cover, or and she'll say rear seat back. And according to this, it looks like there's eight left of those. So he's about to sell out. There's what what it looks like on the website. The picture on the left it says before. Over here. And this is what Eagle Moss gives you. And you see it looks kinda eh, kinda looks like a toy. Well as much as you're paying for the Ecto one, I don't think it's a toy. You know, and I wouldn't want it to look like a toy. I'd rather do mods on it to make it look really good, right? Make it look like the one in the movie. So after you put the cover on, it looks like that. I don't know if you can see the mouse or not, I'll point at it right there. But that's what it looks like with it on. And then this shows you how to put it together. And so and then this is the real picture of the real car. So, yeah. Not bad. Okay, our next little mod is front seat cover or seat back covers. Basically, the two fronts, the you know, the bench seat in the front. Uh, there is another cover in here. I opened up and looked in there. It's in between this uh, this paper board that's right there, but there's two of these in there. And again, you'll see me use these mods that I'm showing you so far. You'll get to see me use them when when it's time to use them in the model when I'm building the model. Now I'll show you the website. Okay, that's what they look like in British pounds. They have them in stock. It shows you how to install them.
Basically, it just says peel and stick, is what he's showing on the thing there. It's like, okay. Mm -hmm. Got a before and an after. Makes a little bit more difference than making your model look like an actual car. You know, as I said before, I mean, it's like, when you get a model and you're paying a lot of money for it, we know the Ecto-1 and Fast and Furious, we know that they cost a lot of money. By the time you get done building them, you spend a lot into it. But, you know, keep in mind, if you're going to spend all that money, do you want your car to have the seats look like this? It looks like it came out of a five-year-old's toy. Or do you want it to look like this with a mod to make it look nice? You know, my opinion is I want it to look nice, even if I had to spend a little bit more money on, you know, stuff like this. You know, that at least my model will look good when I'm, you know, when I'm finished with it. It looked the way I want it. Right? Okay, next mod. is a uh, Delco battery sleeve. It's basically a sleeve. It looks, it's got the decoration on it like, um, I don't know if you can see the details on that or not. Let's see, let me, yeah, looks like it's staying in there for the way it is. But uh, it says Delco on it. General Motors. Or at least I think it says General Motors. I can't tell without, I still need new glasses. Anyway, it's got a lot of detail on it. And uh, I'll show you what the website looks like. On the website, that's what it looks like up close. Now, on the battery, I think you have to paint these little tops right here yellow. And he recommends a certain color to use and things like that. You can get a little bottle of paint and a paintbrush. I think what I'm going to end up doing, I got a yellow paint marker. I think what I'm going to end up doing when I get to this stage is I'm going to take some painter's tape and I'm going to mask off the area around these buttons. Now that might take a little bit more time to do this, but once I mask it off then I can paint it yellow, you know, these little buttons or this part of the battery to make it look sort of like that or close to it, but I'll make sure that it's nice, nice yellow color. But so he's showing them use Tamiya li uh, lemon yellow on the the paint. I can't really paint worth a damn <laughs> when it comes. I used to when a long time ago when I used to build model regular model cars. I used to paint mine and everything. I usually I used to have a steady hand, but I still kind of do. But it's just uh, a little harder for me to do it now. So I'd rather just mask it off and use a paint paint marker just to buy a bottle of paint just to paint those six things and I probably won't ever use the bottle of paint anymore after that so I'd say you know I got paint markers that have the same color in them so why not <laughs> but uh, yeah it's kind of cool looking adds more realism to your model okay on this next mod well, yeah, I guess it's a mod. It's the uh, door transfer kit. Basically, basically, it's a sticker. Well, it's not really a sticker. They're transfers. You know, it's a big kit. You even have the stick to rub the transfers onto the doors, stuff like that. Now, if you've seen in one of the other videos where I have like a, I have this tool that allows me to line up the sticker, or in this case, uh, the this these transfers, I can actually line it up with the little tool on the door and center the sticker where it needs to go on the door. But in this case, it's rub-ons, so it's transfers instead of, uh, you know, whatever. But you have these little wipies, they get a wet and a dry wipe, and I guess to clean the surface, and it allows you to do a transfer onto the onto the doors. Uh, hopefully I won't screw it up, but <laughs> when it comes time for that, uh, hopefully I won't mess it up. But you will see it in a future video when I, when I get to this stage to be able to put these on the cars. I will promise you that I'll, you'll get to see it. Alright, there's this. Now we show you what the website looks like. Okay. That's what it kind of looks like. You got options. 
like you can choose an option like you can have like premium rub on transfer kit that's one I picked and then you got the premium rub on transfer kit with glow in the dark edition which I didn't want and then you have vinyl stickers that are made out of vinyl but I went with the transfer kit and then the other option I think is what kind of ghost style do you want do you want it to be look like the original Ghostbusters like in the very first movie or do you want it to look like the one that's from uh, the new Ghostbusters like transfer uh, like Ghostbusters 2 Ecto the present day well my opinion is I'd rather it look like the original car because this is you know the Ecto 1 that we're building is the original car from the from the first movie so I'd rather have everything look like it came from the first movie right so there's the uh, options if you like the glow in the dark version they look like the normal you know normal kind of sticker but when you turn the lights off they glow in the dark if you're into that <laughs> I'm not but you know and you got the sticker kit transfer kits uh, let's see transfer kits that's what they look like outside the box on the left and that's what they look like on the right if you do the stickers and then you have the style like here I think this is like the original and then you look when they redid it for the second movie I think it changed the hand a little bit or for maybe the, the third movie I guess it's hard to say and you got the transfers what they look like you can see they if you got a transfer they look like this but if you do the sticker you can see a lip of the sticker underneath it and that's the reason why I didn't want to get the sticker I wanted it to look like it was painted on not just you know like a sticker a little extra detail you know into the model and now you got real pictures from the movie kind of thing to give you a reference what they look like you know on the car and then there's some videos on there although I tried clicking on one of them I think one of the links are broke or something like that because it wouldn't play for me so they might play for you if you click on them but, but anyway there's a lot of information here to read if you want to read all that kind of thing all right now you're probably wondering why I'm showing you this this is a new mod that he just put on his website probably in not, not even a month ago and I do plan on buying this probably right after I'm done with the video I might order it and then of course it says made to order so it means you have to wait for him to make it and it might take about a you know it might take a little bit of time to get here so so there's that I do plan on getting this so I'll go ahead and show it to you now and then when I get the mod then I'll um, I'll show it in the video or I'll just show it whenever I get ready to add it onto the car then I'll show it then but I'm going to show you what it looks like now instructions on how to stick it just sticks on a really strong adhesive and that's it it couldn't be more simpler so so if you want me to when if I get this mod which I plan on getting it if you want to have me do another video just be it by itself or do you want me to wait until I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until I actually get to that stage of the model and then when it tells me to put the vent on instead of putting the Eagle Moss vent on there I'm going to put this one on it so I'll, I'll do it then next time you see it it'll probably be in that video so when I get to that part okay there's one more thing um, there is a thing that came in the box with all the mods that came in one big box well not a really big box but there's also this card that Mike Lane gave me just wanted to say thanks and here's another here's something worth knowing and on the back of the card he's got some so it's worth a mention so yeah so basically if you want to pause it here then you can and you'll be able to read it so all right thought i'd throw that out there oh there's one other thing um he also threw in a bag of these in the in the box i'm not sure why he did that a little bag of candy in there or gummy bears so <laughs> yeah i kind of like that that's kind of funny so okay 
well that's all the mods I have for now I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more in event you know especially that door vent for the rear door I'll eventually get it but as I said I'm, I'm gonna probably save it for when it's time to put the vent on the door and and I'll film it then and um, that's pretty much about it on this video right all right it's kind of short but I, I did say I was gonna make a video of uh, the mods when they showed up and I ordered them over two months ago and he had and it's he said made to order so it takes a while to make them I just wish he would have had that door vent at that time when I ordered that and I could have had it added on and it would have saved me on shipping so now if I order the door vent now you know I got to pay extra shipping just to ship that one little piece here and it may take two months to get here so so we'll hang off on that and when we get close to that stage we'll order the mod and maybe then the you know, he'll have some more mods that I can play that I can get besides that one. All right, and yeah, <laughs> I'll put a link to his website down below, and so you can uh, go to the website, check out all of his mods. He also has other car, you know, other mods for other vehicles. And if you hang on just a moment, I will read it off to you. He has the DeLorean. He has those you know, mods for the DeLorean. If you have the Knight Rider 2000 kit model uh, from, I think it's from uh, Fan Home, I think does it. I don't remember. If you have that one, he has mods for that. If you're into the regular cars like the Ferrari 1A scale F40, he also has mods for that. That might be interesting to look at. If you have the Starship Enterprise from Eagle Moss, uh, he also has mods on that one. If you have the James Bond car, the DB5 on uh, Eagle Moss, he, uh, if you have that one, then uh, he will. He has mods on that one too. And he also has a DeLorean time machine. So if you like that one he's gonna have that too actually wait I just said that didn't I? oh he's got three different he's got three different DeLoreans on here I just noticed that the first one that I read off was from Eagle Moss the second one is called is from a company called Hot Toys and there's a third one for a time machine but it's also called Play Mobile okay Play Mobile so then there's a Porsche 911 or you know the that you know Porsche 911 car model from uh, Fan Home, and also the VW T1 uh, Sambara camper. So if you're into that, you know if you're into any of those mods that I just read off, he has mods for each one of them. Yeah, I mean each one of those models has a, he has mods that he makes for each one. Now he may add more stuff. I could talk to him and ask him if he has a, if he's ever going to make anything for Fast and Furious. Because I, I don't know if it can be any improvement made to it already. I mean, Fan Home done a real good job on it that I've had so far, you know, with it. I mean, there may be one or two things that could be changed, but I don't know what that would be at this moment. But so far, I mean, it's been a highly detailed model, and it's worth the money on the Fan Home stuff. But as far as Eagle Moss goes, if they would have built it right the first time, instead of cutting corners or whatever they did, you know, to the interior of the of the model, and get in charging a premium for their kits, then if they wouldn't have cut corners on some things, there wouldn't be any mods, right? It's like Fan Home. I mean, so far, I mean, I don't know of any mods that are for the Fan Home car. You know, for Fast and Furious car, I don't know of any mods for it other than you can put stiffening wire inside the tubes, like sparkly wires and stuff, to make them stiffer so they hold their shape. But I don't understand. I mean, it's like Eagle Moss is like there's all kinds of mods for the Ghostbuster car. There's a lot of in the DeLorean. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of things wrong with the DeLorean. You know, I don't have that model yet, but it may be a few years away before I decide I'm going to get it. Because there's a lot of detail in it, but there's also some details they didn't put in it. 
in that car, and Eagle Moss did that. Well, maybe the reason why you can't hardly find any mods for Fan Homes Fast and Furious, it could be because maybe they did it such a, a good job on it that there's no need for a mod, All right? That's my theory, anyway. Okay, I've done ranted a lot. I mean, I've done talked long enough and rambled a lot, you know, muttered, whatever. So I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And, um, if you hit the notifica uh, notification bell down below, it will let you know that, uh, it lets the algorithm know that you like that type of content. It also will give you recommendations to watch other content creators that are creating stuff for, you know, one scale model cars like me, you know, like the Ecto-1 or, or Fast and Furious. If you haven't watched any of my Ghostbuster videos that I've done so far on the Ecto-1, go back and watch, you know, some of them, you might like them. There is a lot of detail on some of the things that I've done so far with the Ecto-1, especially with the engine. It looks almost as good, just about as good as, uh, I mean, it ain't got a blower in it, but what I've done to it, I even added a mod to the engine, so you can actually, it's got decals on it that you can't, that don't come with the model. So I did that. So if you haven't been watching the Ecto-1, go back and watch it. You might like it. And um, if you want to subscribe, it helps me out a great deal. And uh, if you want to share the video, please do. <laughs> you know, the, you might have other people that might be interested in subscribing and, you know, giving thumbs up and likes and all that stuff like that. So, yeah, just pass it around if you want to share it with people that are interested, mod, you know, that do modeling and things like that. They might, that's, if they're in this kind of model type cars and stuff like that, pass it on to other people. You know, let them, you know, maybe it'll help, maybe they'll be interested in this. So, so anyway, I thank you for watching. And if you stuck around to the end of the video, I appreciate it. So until next time, I'll see you when I see you. Is that going to be a catchphrase now since I say it now more often than usual? Anyway, I'll see you when I see you. And, um, yeah, I guess that'll be it. All right, till next time. Bye.